Hello, 14.16 has been out for a while now, and I know people are curious about builds, so that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I know also people find this boring, so I'll be trying to go through it quickly. So please strap your seatbelts and get ready. But before we begin, hope you guys have having a good morning in that room, shit like that. And yeah, let's get started. Just quickly here, just off the top, just first thing to begin with is just the general like win rate of champions. You can see that like most majors are dominating bot lane. Woohoo, who's surprised? No one. And we can see that Twitch is actually like somewhere in the middle here, uh, overall. Um, I know people don't think Twitch is doing too good, like in the past patches and currently, and I would agree. Like, he, he doesn't feel good to play, but he's like not objectively like a bad champion uh, currently. Um, and even now, I don't think he's too bad, but he does like a lot of things, but still, it's not too bad. <clears throat> but I mean, who didn't see this coming, right? I mean, <laughs> it was expected. Uh, so yeah, if you really want LP, you can play these champions here, yeah? but at the end of the day, we have Twitch. So let's look at that. And as for builds here, the thing I've done is just to, like, I did this yesterday, so the numbers might be slightly off now, and to my surprise, Stag Shiv has actually increased in win rate now. Currently, like before, when I was looking at this, it was sitting at like 49% rate, 48%. But what I like to do is get rid of the Doom games. And what are the Doom games? Just so everyone understands. The Doom games are where you'll play a game of League of Legends. You will get Blade Rune King, Collector, Infinity Edge, any of these items. But the game ends before you get your second item. Those are the Doom games, right? Even counting the games where you get one item of Blade Rune King, you're really far ahead. And you just end the game before you get your second item. We remove that out of these calculations, right? And currently as it is right now, uh, removing the Dune games, Infinity Edge is sitting somewhere between like 59 to 6% win rate past like two items. Um, I didn't look at Kraken. Collector's sitting at around like 56%, like slightly under Infinity Edge. And then under that, we have Blade Rune King, uh, roughly around like probably 54 or 55%. So like it's it goes in that row, like Infinity Edge. 59, 60%, Collector, 57, 58, 56, Blade Rune King, 54, 55, and um, Stag Shape probably sits around like 50, actually higher now maybe, maybe actually, you could take a look at that, but I'll post that in the comment section below as I'm sure people aren't really interested in that. But so far, Infinity Edge has the highest win rate past two items, collect the second, play the Ring King or Stag Shiv third, and then whichever one fourth, right? So <clears throat> that is it. And as my take on collect the Infinity Edge first, I don't think it's bad. Um, I have been trying to collect the Infinity Edge first in the past, and I have definitely been playing some collector now. And yeah, I don't think they're bad. But one of the problems with Infinity Edge and Collector especially is that the components are so expensive. So even though you might be getting a lead and you buy like a pickaxe or something early game, the amount of gold you need to wait until the second one, you might actually lose agency, right? It's like it might suddenly just like you might go be, 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 become behind again because you're sitting on so much gold and you don't get like a lot of agency, right? And that is not really a problem with that Blade Rinking or Stag Shift has the build completes very like fluidly where you can just buy item after item after item whenever you recall whatever you might need. Whereas Infinity Edge and Collector struggles in that regard. And of course, Infinity Edge costs 3400 and Collector costs 3200 equal to Blade Ring King. So Collector is definitely a little bit cheap to finish. So just in my general sense here, like if you're playing Collector or Infinity Edge first. I think I would aim for Collector first, especially if you're like ahead, because Collector gives you money as well when you kill someone, so that will like allow you to get slightly more money towards Infinity Edge, right? And I think you can spike a little bit harder. One thing that has to be really mentioned here though, even though these items have really high win rate, um, Collector actually just being like close to even here with Blade Ring King, but again, we can see that it has like slightly higher, maybe 55, 56% even um, past the Doom games. Um, they have way lower play rate than Blade the Ring King. <clears throat> so if Infinity Edge had the same amount of play rate as Blade the Ring King, then I would definitely say that that win rate would be lower than it currently is. And that's something that can't be understated. It's like even though, oh, Infinity Edge passed one item 60%, like crazy, that sounds so good, right? But in reality, like most people that go Infinity Edge first are already like having a big lead. So like the, the win rate is already skewed because people that are winning or like doing well are buying Infinity Edge, right? Um, so yeah, 
I, I don't think that Collectile, Infinity Edge, or any of these items are bad. However, you can definitely go them. Uh, one thing I urge people to try is Stack Shift. And but before that, there's a couple of other things I want to go through here. And the first one, I, I don't know how to put this into like context where the video itself will just flow well, but if you close your eyes and you just imagine like the perfect build, right? Like what, what stats would you want, right? Like things that come to mind, good damage, like high AD or like decent amount of AD. Uh, unless you were like a 90 attack fan, uh, then you would want 100% crit, right? Um, other things you would want is good attack speed, possibly movement speed. And lastly, you'd want life still, right? And that is a problem, especially these items like Kraken and Stack Shiv has. It's like, where do you fit in the life still? Because without, like, with Vital still hitting 100% crit. Because if you go this, then you go life still item, then that also doesn't have crit and you don't reach 100%. And that's definitely a problem. And one way of solving that problem could, of course, be to go Bloodline. But one thing that also has to be said is that stat value wise, Bloodline is actually less worth than alacrity and i find it really hard to make the switch over the bloodline um even though i do think that the actual like cost of life still is um like a lot high like the value of life still is very high so like but just in terms of like gold like how much it costs to get life still then um alacrity was like 570 gold worth and bloodline is somewhere around like 540 or something i don't quite remember the math yesterday but yeah um Anyways, <clears throat> that is the problem, right? Like, completing a full build that, like, just seems nice. And I would, I will say that I have gone Stag Shave yesterday and I didn't end up losing that game because I didn't have enough agency to carry the game. I did also get griefed by the hacker room to steal my farm, like, the entire game. It was really frustrating because I had 100% on that account. And the hacker room just got really mad, so he took all my farm and I couldn't play the game. Even though I had, like, 16, 17 kills, he just refused to win, so... It was really frustrating for me. The one thing I did lack when I went Stag Shave was just that feeling of, like, just complete agency, right? Like, that's solo warrior, um, like Rambo, right? Like, then you want to have everything to take care of yourself, patches, like, <laughs> band-aids, everything, right? It's like some lifestyle. Like, Blade of Rune King is definitely, like, a really nice item that complements any other item that you might get. Just because of the balance of stats that it gives. Of course, it's nerfed now, which is depressing, and I hope that we'll see some changes in the future towards this item, as I do really like the attack speed and AD and life still and just everything that it gives. And still, I wouldn't, re I would recommend, like, I think, like, last I am even, like, Blade Rune King, if you're going any of these other ones, will still be a nice item. Uh, but yeah. Starting about Stag Shiv, why this is a good item, or like, why it's an interesting item. And I will show you now. Clicking on Blade the Rune King, um, you can see that it finishes, like, roughly around 30 minutes in game, right? And on your next item, uh, Hurricane finishes at 19, Collect and Infinity Edge both finish around 20 minutes in the game. Right, it's so like 19 minutes, 20 minutes is like on average when people complete these items. And looking at Collector, the average for completion of the next item is 19 and 20 again. Um, which is parallel, right, because they're just expensive. And you can see that Infinity Edge actually... You can see here, even though Infinity Edge is much more expensive, it's finishing on the same time as Blade Rune King. But that's just because people generally have a lead when they buy this item. Otherwise, this item here being more expensive would, of course, like finish Leia. But people are on average buying this one when they're ahead in comparison to the Blade Rune King. So yeah, but again, looking at Infinity Edge here, you can see that people finish items around 19, 20 again. Respectfully, same round of time here. But then when you click on... Stag Shiv, you can see that people finish items earlier, on average. 18, 18, 19, 20, right? Same with Infinity Edge. Things to keep in mind here, though, is that Stag Shiv is cheaper than all the other options, so of course, like, the next item will be completed faster. But I do generally think that people, on average, will finish items faster with Stag Shiv first, just due to the farm that you get from it, and, like, just how it makes your farming easier. <clears throat> And another thing I've been doing is actually just taking uh, cash back with Stag Shiv. I think that is really fun or like good. It feels nice to get that money and then just Cosmic Insight. It just like further helps you like complete items earlier. So I like this build in the sense of like getting to full build. It feels really nice. I, I, I will be trying with um, First Strike again. Uh, even though I do think the First Strike is worse than Pest Attack. I will definitely be trying that again. Just to see how fast like I can push the timers in these on average and how I feel about it. 
And the problem I do have, however, with Stag Shiv is just figuring out build path that I like. It is, of course, tempting to go Infinity Edge or like Hurricane Second, but if you go Hurricane Second, it feels a bit bad because you don't have that much damage. You don't have the complementary uh, stats that Blade Wing King has that amplifies like the effect of Green and Hurricane. You only have pure AD and attack speed. So I do find that to be a bit of a problem. So, like, then my entire like thought process here in terms of like what builds are like, all like items I let to go after is a bit of a problem. But still, I do think like Infinity Edge Collector, Infinity Edge, blah, 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 is still good. And then getting Hurricane maybe later. So everyone watching this video, just generally speaking, I do recommend you to just try. Give Stag Shiv a little bit of a try. See how you like it. Um, it is, of course, very different, but it does give a lot of attack speed and AD, which I do like very much. As well, does it give some movement speed, which I also too do like. Um... As for anything else, I don't really have anything else to add. I do think that Blade of the Ring King is still viable, and that is about it. Uh, as for Collect Infinity Edge, I do think, generally speaking, like finishing Collector first and then Infinity Edge probably feels nicer. I really like the Collector into Infinity Edge, into LDR or Mortal Reminder third. Like that feels really nice, the damage I get then. And you can see that the win rate past this year is actually doing quite well. And then after this year, of course, I like to get my Hurricane. And after that, it's either like Bloodthirster or Bathe and King. <clears throat> so yeah. Those are just my thoughts and everything on the items currently. Again, I would like to see a lot more play rate on Stag Shiv. Uh, just like we had before with First Strike, it didn't have enough play rate. It had very low win rate. But then eventually people just caught on and realized that it's actually pretty decent. So yeah. Give Stag Shiv a try. I know it's not really like something new and it's been nerfed quite a bit, but still I think it's quite good. I look, look here, 45% attack speed, compressed to 25, 55 AD, 5 AD more. And just finally, I can show you guys something interesting here. I mean, it's not really interesting. It's a uh, no-brainer. Uh, let me just open my videos quickly. Mm. So you don't get expectations up. Let's see here. Not that one. There we go. All right. So in this clip here, I have. <laughs> um, wait. What do I have here? What is this build? Yeah. There we go. In this video here, I have Stag Shiv, the enemy which has played the Ring King. And we are currently doing a 1v1 here. And although I do think that I attacked before the other Twitch, you can see that yeah, it's no ult because it doesn't really make a difference. But you can see that the Twitch would be the Ring King win, right? And the other clip, just out of curiosity, is actually the same uh, stats. As stag shiv, or like just this, roughly the same stats. As you can see, I have two daggers, boots, BF sword, and life steal. So like I have more stats than the blade ring king. <clears throat> uh, but again, you can just see that I lose. Right. So I mean, it's not to understate the power of blade ring king. And just lastly, one thing I just want to mention is that Infinity Edge and Collector is actually like underrated versus mages, just being able to hit hard. Uh, it's very good versus them. So I do think that like the reason also Collector and Infinity Edge are very good is because it is very powerful like, against mages, especially mobile ones like um, Carthus, Swain, Brand, and these. Hitting hard, taking them down quickly is definitely an advantage. I don't know. This video is 40 minutes long. I have no idea how to compress this. I could do this to take again, but again, if you're interested in watch it all, if not, it's good. Hope you guys continue to have a good morning on the trail and fish like that. And take care. Peace.